Hello everybody, this is Hunter here with an update video. Let me get this out of the way. I have, once again, no excuse to not really make a video other than just general laziness and not really feeling like it. But don't worry, I am not going to stop any projects. However, I am going to make things more stupidly difficult for myself by attempting to introduce a couple more. But first things first, uh, updates on what other current projects I have going on and when I'm going to fucking do them, you know? Um, Gex 2, I should be recording more episodes today, and they'll be up eventually. Uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Between you the last episode, though, it might take a little longer because I'm gonna play through the entirety of the N64 version, which will probably take a couple of days, just so I can get up to the point in which I can show off the differences between the N64 version and the PS1 version in a pre-finale bonus video type of thing. So that's that. Uh, the other one is, um, I think. The Paper Mario 2 bonus videos, those are going to take a little bit longer, hopefully before long, you know, hopefully not for, it won't take too long, I don't, I can't give exacts, I'm trying not to give exacts, because when I give exacts, then I fail to live up to exacts, and, you know, things happen, but hopefully before, you know, the end of the year, I think that's a reasonably safe presumption. Right? Right? Yeah. That, that I think is a good one. Uh, I have to play through most of the game again and try and remember what I haven't done. Because the first bonus video is going to be a, a missing... Well, I'm going to call it the missing pages. Because I'm going to cover all the things I didn't do. Such as waiting for the time to run out to get the non-student game over in the second chapter. Or actually beating the Clef Brothers in their spontaneous surprise ambush appearance in the Glitz Bed, doing that stuff. As well as a few other post game things that you can do, uh, excluding any major post game things you can do. The other thing is Silent Hill 2, and I don't exactly know when I'm gonna do that, cause I still have to set up my PlayStation 2 and make sure that my Hubbog doesn't hate it. I haven't attempted to do that yet. But if worse comes to worse, I'll just do Silent Hill 2 and 3 around Halloween, one right after the other. Um, because, uh, I don't know. I was originally going to do like one Silent Hill game per year on around Halloween to, you know, hype up for Silent Hills, but that that's, that's a dead project. As you all know, it's a dead project. Dead in the water. It isn't happening. We have Resident Evil 7, though. So, I mean, kind of? The thing? I, I I still want to do the Silent Hill games is all I'm saying, basically. I have the first four games, so it's just a matter of getting around to doing them. No projected release date, still in the works. Those are the ones that you you guys have been af informed of, and of course Sonic Colors will play after um, Dix 2. And it's entirely likely that as a result, I'm also going to be attempting to finish up uh, do a Sonic 2 bonus video when I start Sonic Colors, and then move on to another of the 2D ones. I'm not sure if I should do the Advanced series or the Rush series, because I haven't played all of the Advanced games yet. I haven't played three. And I'm not really well practiced with the Advanced games. I have the first two, so I, sh I could reasonably just start practicing them. I don't know. You guys tell me what I should do. In any case, um, yeah. Maybe I'll do the other... Uh, Sonic Adventure DX games as well. I have a lot. I should write this stuff down, honestly. I'm hopefully going to remind myself to do that after I finish recording, because I don't want to do it in the middle of recording, because the last thing you guys want to hear is me doing this. And that would get really annoying. So I won't. Um, Alright, so those are. that's it for the... I'm trying to rapid fire this as fast as I can. Um, that's it for the updates on the projects that I have said I was going to do but I haven't done yet and hopefully I will get them mostly reasonably all done. I'm out of school. I need a job. <laughs> uh, I need to start doing that too. So yeah that's also a thing I gotta get going but that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant to this video. It's irrelevant to you guys. Now for a couple of other things that I need to, to get out and um, well I'm going to ask for your guys' opinions on them. And assuming that YouTube allows me to do so, I might have two polls up there asking you guys whether or not I should do them. The first project is one that 
I'm going to need uh, more or less immediate answers on. And I say immediate answers on because, well, it's something that I kind of want to start tomorrow. Yeah. You're probably wondering, really? Yes. Really. Tomorrow. I'm not even joking. What is that, you may ask? Well, tomorrow is a very significant date. Tomorrow marks the date of Phoenix Wright's first trial in the first game of the Ace Attorney franchise. That being the first turnabout, August 3rd, 2016, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the California Courthouse. Yes, specifics. But the reason why is that I want to do an LP of that, probably like many others are probably going to start doing tomorrow, but I kind of want to do it in a weird way. Basically, um... Well, the first two cases are, like, one right after the other, but I kind of want to do an LP of Phoenix Wright, and for the most part, the other games in the series, in a way that I only upload videos of days in the games when the date passes in real life. So that's kind of why I wanted to start it tomorrow, but I honestly wasn't really entirely sure whether or not I wanted to do it, and I kind of postponed the idea until literally the day before, like the lazy bastard that I am. So, poll number one, if I can fit in two polls, otherwise I'll have to make one a straw poll. I don't know, it's either going to be up there in the video, in the eye icon, or in the description below as a straw poll. I don't know which one's going to go where, but basically, should I do a Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney LP that uploads when days occur in the game, it'll be like a semi-frequent kind of thing. Thing. Should I do it, or do you think I'm just being kind of ridiculous and trying to catch on to some gimmick of something, I don't know. I'm only gonna, the first two cases are gonna be entirely voiced by me, but for the other cases, I, as terrible as I am with them, I kind of, kind of want to do a voice acting dub thingy majigger, mostly because, um, yeah, I don't know, I just kind of want to do it, and I felt like the only way to do LPs of the Phoenix Wright games is to have, like, big dub cast type things, like a certain other group does, that also shares a similar idea. Go sub to Tyranny, by the way, link in the description below. It's, d it's a channel that does, like, Let's Plays that they tentatively call Let's Dubs because they're mostly LPs of visual novel type games, and they have, like, a voice cast of like all the people doing it and it's pretty great and there's a lot of improv in it too when there there's lulls in the conversation and it's it's fun stuff it's fun stuff um so yeah phoenix red lp type of thing maybe may not i don't know and the other thing the other project i was considering on doing and i definitely know i'm gonna go through with this one but i'm wondering if i should go how far i should go with it is an LP of Undertale. I said I was going to do Undertale one day, and it was going to be one of my RPG LPs, but I wanted to do something with it eventually before it lost complete entire relevancy, and I figured the best way to do it is to start it on the anniversary of the game's release, which I believe is September 15th. Let me double check that to be sure. I know I said you guys weren't going to hear any typing, but I lied. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, September 15th. My math and memory is indeed correct. So, I would be starting an LP of that on that date. And plastering the entire LP with spoiler warnings. The entire LP. All of it. Literally all of it. I have completely refrained from mentioning anything specific about Undertale, aside from what's available in the public demo of the website, for the sole purpose that I am very, very protective of the game and I stand by the clause that if anything well most of the game's story is entirely dependent on whether or not you've been spoiled on it and honestly that's what I'm trying to aim for and I'm trying to ensure that I'm not held responsible for spoiling people on the game when I give like a crud ton of warning time so basically I kind of I, I just want to do an LP of Undertale and I figured the I think the, the year anniversary is the best time to do it. For this one, though, I might try and get a 
dope thing working, but like I said, I'm not very good at those kinds of things, because I'm too lenient on people when it comes to requesting to get the lines done, and it often results in me not having things done on time. Might need some help with that, but other than that, I kind of do want to do a project, but it's the trouble of how do I set up a project for a game that is very dependent on not being spoiled and cast people for characters that are spoilery. It's a tricky thing, isn't it? Perhaps I'll just have like a blog post or something detailing, hey, if you've played Undertale and you know what characters are in the game, you can send me your voice auditions. Because that's the only thing I can think of. If anybody else has gotten any ideas, throw them at me. I, I can't think of anything else I'd like. I can I, how I could, else I could set up that as a thing because that would require me spoiling characters in the game, and I don't want to do that. Spoiler is a bit too heavy of a term, but the, the point I'm trying to make is that I don't want to mention any characters in the game without. You know, people are like, who is that character? And then BAM! Spoilers, like actual big plot important spoilers of them everywhere, so... It's kind of one of those things. Also, Undertale is more so of a game that, uh... I feel like it doesn't... Des like, I don't say it doesn't deserve, like, an RPG OP kind of thing, but it's like... It's its own unique beast, as it were, so I have to treat it with a bit more... ...difference. Yes, I know how to words. I'm good at them. Also, if you another reason, actually, I can detail a reason that I haven't made a video, especially last month, considering. Um, Monster Hunter, consume my life again. Help me. Uh, so I think that's about all I have. Yeah, I know the recording is too loud. Wavepad, I don't care. I can fix this. There's there's audio compression in Sony Vegas for a reason. I can do it. It's fine. So I think that's good enough, hopefully? Yeah, let's say that's good enough for now, and we'll, we'll, we'll proceed on as we proceed on. I don't know if I'm going to have any video footage in the background, but I'm probably going to have something. Assuming I can get away with it, probably Poké Village from Monster Hunter Generations, because that music is absolutely soothing. And I love it. It's good. Love that village. It's great. Nothing wrong with it at all, especially not in the post game. Anyway, so that's about it. Hopefully, um, if you want it, I will be doing the Phoenix Wright thing tomorrow and for the rest of the week because it's, you know, first two cases. Other than that, Gex 2 will resume relatively soon with other things following suit at some point in time. I, I honestly don't know when. Happy summer, by the way. Um, maybe I'll do Pokemon matches. I Oh no, man, I've been doing a lot of competitive stuff, and I'm getting into that. Anyway, all of this is relevant. I listed out things. I don't want to put a TLDR because I want people to actually watch the video instead of clicking on it, reading the description, and going away because I go into more detail than what a TLDR would, you know, provide, and all that stuff. Anyway, actually ending it now. So until then, see you later, and goodbye.